Hi, it's Stefano Malay here, San Diego criminal defense lawyer and partner at the Law Office of P. Shapiro, where we help good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. One question that we get is, how important is the judge that you're going to be in front of as far as determining the outcome of a case? Now, look, when we are talking about federal, the district court judge you get assigned to can definitely be a huge, huge factor on the resolution of the case. Because once you're assigned to that judge, it's gonna be for either trial or sentencing or motions or certain types of motions. On the state side, it's a little bit different, however. On the state side, the um, judges sort of vary depending on what state you're in. So typically on the state side, you're gonna have a judge who's there for the arraignment. Now having a judge who's gonna be um, listening to bail argument, of course, is gonna be important in determining whether or not someone who's in custody gets released from custody. Um, so at that stage, that judge at that moment is obviously important. Then after that, the next hearing you're going to have is a readiness conference. And there's typically a totally different judge in the readiness uh, conference department, right? Um, and th those judges are referred to as settlement judges. Can that judge make a difference as far as the outcome of the case? Yeah, right. Um, as far as how much is this judge willing to put pressure on the prosecutor sometimes? Or how uh, likely is a judge going to, if the case resolves in um, a plea bargain with an open sentence, what's this judge going to do? How good of a, of a sentencer, uh, it's, that's probably a made up word, but how good of a sentencer is this judge? Now, obviously, um, there's going to be a lot of discussion between the attorney and the judge, between the criminal defense attorney and the judge, as far as, hey, judge, what are you thinking about this case? What's your indicated um, as far as a sentence, if we were to go down this road of a plea bargain, right? So in that scenario, that's obviously an important person um, to have because if the case may settle, having a judge who can either put pressure on the prosecutor or um, render a reasonable sentence is going to be significant. Then another judge you're going to have is a preliminary hearing judge. Again, that's usually a different judge from your arraignment and your readiness. That judge is also very important. That's because at that hearing, you have an opportunity to argue that the evidence isn't sufficient for the uh, charge to exist. Um, and or you may be able to argue that um, the felony charge it should be reduced to a misdemeanor. So having a receptive judge is very important. Same thing if you're running a motion at the preliminary hearing. Having a judge who is um, careful with the law and connected with recent law and, and is appreciative of the nuances of legal argument is very important. Um, and then after that, um, you may have, you know, at, at a readiness conference, you usually will go back to the same readiness conference judge. In some parts of the county, you will have a different readiness conference judge. So now you've got sort of a, a fresh set of eyes to uh, potentially settle the case or to resolve an issue <clears throat> or to have some pressure placed on the prosecutor. And then finally, you could have a totally different judge for certain types of motions um, and, of course, trial, right? So you're going to have a totally different tr uh, judge for trial, most likely. Um, and, you know, the judge that you get assigned for trial is obviously very important. They're going to be doing everything potentially, right? They're going to be ruling on legal issues that could absolutely have an impact on the resolution of the case or how strong of a trial you're going to be able to, to have. Um, and if the case ends up in a conviction, then that judge is going to sentence you, right? And so that judge is also very important. And that's why in a criminal case, um, there's a peremptory challenge that uh, the defense can file to challenge a judge. Now, you only get one, typically. You only get one um, in a criminal case, and it applies, you know, for that entire case. So sometimes you, you say, well, I, I want to use it at the preliminary hearing. But then... If there, you know, if you get past the preliminary hearing and you have to go to trial, then you don't have one to challenge at trial. So then you got to figure out strategy about what makes more sense. Um, so hope that discussion on sort of the importance of judges and, and how it all works at different stages is helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments um, or give us a call. Law Officer David P. Shapiro. Again, my name is Stefano Malaya. Our phone number is 619-295-3555. Thanks.